Let's do it. Ray, but uh, I know you travelled far today, mate, to come and watch this again tonight. You live in hope, don't you, Champions League nights at Old Trafford, but started off a little bit of summer and it sort of just died slowly, death, didn't it, mate, tonight? Yeah, like we, we were hoping for individual brilliance from, from Ronaldo, from from Sancho, from Bruno, and for, to a lesser extent, Erlanga. That's the best we were hoping for tonight. Because let's face it, the way we lined up, we had no midfield, right? Two holding midfielders and, and one attacker in Bruno. And Bruno, his record in big games is poor. And, and then we were kind of very easy to play against. I mean, Atletico gave us a warning sign before they actually scored. And, and that goal, the first goal they got, I, I looked at it back. It, it could have been given onside. But anyway, look, the, over the two legs were the better side. And and can't complain that we got eliminated. And if there's any consolation, it saved us from an absolute embarrassment against Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Man City and Liverpool. Because let's face it, we have absolutely no chance whatsoever against them sides have we gotten any further, being realistic with you. That's it. You said that first goal there. We just don't seem to learn from our mistakes, do we? It was a case of got the warning sign from the Felix offside and didn't recover. Same again. Can we put any of that down to the referee not giving a foul on the Langer and him not getting time to get back to cover that side where the goal came from? Or do you feel like we're clutching at straws again because... Overall, like you said then, we just didn't deserve it, did we, mate? Well, put it this way, I, I felt January was a huge missed opportunity. We didn't strengthen, strengthen a centre half, we didn't strengthen as whole midfielder. That's two key areas that we didn't strengthen. And it looks as though we're going to miss out on top four. I mean, like I said, January is a missed opportunity. Like, if, if, like, and overall, there's too many average players from defence to midfield to attack, right? We've had more than two years to prove themselves and they're just not good enough. I mean, if you go to our defence, right, Lindelof not good enough Bailly and Varane are very injury prone Maguire is just a useless shit bag and in midfield right McTominay Fred Matic right we don't have a proper CDM and I know there's a, a chant about McTominay but I'm sorry he's more of a championship level player than he'll ever be a future United captain right I have an Everton friend who wouldn't take McTominay into, into his midfield and they're struggling as says it all right in attack we have Lingard Martial Rashford who had showed great promise great early potential but they're nowhere near consistent not, not by a long shot and then Cristiano may leave if the club don't match his ambition and as for Paul Pogba well who needs him who, who needs him you said it there mate you went through a list of players there Pogba I think he'll be gone Ronaldo if we're not in the Champions League I think he'll be gone mate it's a lot of work for the next manager coming in I think that's all we can look forward to now is it not because a lot of people tonight I'm going to ask you the same question mate is the season over after that there tonight? Potentially, yes. I mean, it's an uphill struggle for top four. We better pray Arsenal have a collapse and don't make it. And we have to win practically all our games. I mean, like if Arsenal do have a collapse, right, we still have to play Arsenal away, Chelsea at home, Liverpool away. So optimistically, as two draws from three games, optimistically. And, and there's so many, I mean, even the lesser sides, Southampton, Burnley, Newcastle, we struggled against them. So, I mean, you can't fancy United against anybody. Even Norwich at Old Trafford, it, is by no means a foregone conclusion so so it's it's going to be difficult and I, I tell you without top four I, I fear the transition could continue could continue because we either stick with Ralph Ranick or we only get linked with the likes of Graham Potter Brendan Rodgers or that born loser Gareth Southgate that's all we'd be linked with I mean the likes of Eric Ten Hag Hansi Flick Julian Nagelsmann Hansi F and Luis Enrique wouldn't want to know about us neither would would top attackers like Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappe wouldn't want to know about us if we're not Champions League football next season and what's worrying is that you know we need to strengthen in so many areas next season wing backs centre half holding midfielder left winger but the thing about it is we're not going to get the top quality signings because we're going to miss out on top signings to Real Madrid Bayern Munich PSG and the top two of England I mean just as Luis Diaz was strongly linked with, with Tottenham he joined Liverpool because they were Champions League and Tottenham Weren't, weren't really going anywhere and plus Diaz had no right to start he had to earn his way in and, and he's proved a worthy signing That's it mate I mean <coughs> looking ahead to that new manager coming in I mean Ten Hag has gone out tonight with Ajax as well beating yeah. by Benfica Could United be going for it now season over making it clear who they want acting like a big club or do you fear that we're just going to drag this out this new man is yeah. not going to get a lot of time in the summer now and yeah. like you said then it's and repeat and the process continues with trial and error on the pitch instead of getting a full pre-season with the new manager well look, even if we do get Eric Ten Hag in as much as he's the front runner I mean I, I, it's hard to see any manager succeed under this current regime I mean what needs to happen is an overhaul in ownership and boardroom level right 
I mean, when the Glazers Super League proposal failed miserably back in the summer, they should have sold up and pissed off. Because let's face it, we're, we're just, you know, it's the same old transition year in, year out. You know, new manager in and out of top four. I mean, what needs to happen is a few years out of top four, the club loses a lot of money, the Glazers have got no choice. I mean, as, as a supporter, you'd want to be optimistic for your club, but the Glazers may have no choice if you've spent three, four, five years out of the Champions League, all the money that they've lost. I mean, and, and it all comes from ambition. It comes from the top, from the owners to boardroom level to the manager to the players. That, that's where it all comes down to. I mean, like when Arsenal celebrated their top four trophy for several years, they set their standards so low, they actually spent five years out of top four, they actually landed on eight for a season or two. So I fear the same, we could suffer the same fate if, if, you know, if we keep recruiting substandard average players and, and keep hiring managers for a season or two or keep in and out of top four. It's, it's hard to see an end in sight to this transition unless there's an overhaul of boardroom and management and ownership, sorry. Ray, cheers for coming on, mate. You said it You're well, welcome. Uh,